Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is very strange because I have never filmed a video where I'm actually sitting in front of the camera, so I'm kind of scared. But I really hope you guys enjoy this setup. Normally I'm probably gonna just do a normal card spread anyway, but today I just wanted to show my face for you guys and just say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love you guys so much and let's get started. I hope everything is in focus. So if you guys would like to choose group one, two, three or four, if it's flipped, I apologize, but this is my first time doing this. So it's kind of confusing. So yeah, please choose group one, two, three or four and let's see what's going to happen for you guys in May. Hello group number one. So let's see what you guys got for May. So let's see, you guys got Embrace the in-between, quiet time, unrequited love, you deserve love, I hope you can see these, father healing, wheel of fortune, nine of pentacles, justice, ace of cups, and self-reliance. So let's see what we have here. So first of all, I feel like you guys are going through quite a tough time or you have gone through a tough time. So bear in mind this is May time, so this is slightly in the future if you're watching this in April still. So basically with the self-reliance card, it's essentially just saying that you are relying on yourself now and it's all about focusing on yourself, embracing who you are, embracing this inner kind of wisdom that you have being the sort of individual person. They're basically telling me that you need to focus on yourself and be the certain person who you wanna be instead of what people want you to be. And I definitely feel like you're actually investing a lot of emotional stability into your life because you're really pouring your heart and soul into yourself now. This could also be a new person coming in because we also have justice. So essentially this could be somebody who is, this essentially could be someone who is going to establish a relationship with you Basically, it could also mean that you're going to get justice for a situation. So there could be a situation where you're waiting on somebody to contact you. You're waiting for a certain situation to figure itself out. So this is meaning in May, you're basically going to get emotional justice. So if you're waiting on somebody to contact you, someone who you really, really like, that sort of thing, then this is basically what's going to happen. And guys, I'm really excited for you, not going to lie, because that is really, really good. So... <clears throat> With the Nine of Pentacles, you're also working on your financial stability. And this is basically someone who's also establishing their single relationship status. So you could also be single in the month of May, but I definitely feel like you have someone coming in because we have the Ace of Cups. And it's essentially someone could also be seeing you as someone who's like a really sexy kind of like goddess or you know, God, depending, doesn't really matter on your gender, that's kind of not, doesn't really matter, but we've also got the Wheel of Fortune, so things are gonna be going in your favor. May is basically gonna be really, really good for you, and it's essentially just gonna be like amazing <laughs> for you, because we've got the wheel is turning, and we also have, for the Romance Angels, we have You Deserve Love, and unrequited love. So essentially you could also be coming out of a relationship. With the unrequited love card, it's basically telling me that you guys are coming out of a situation where someone wasn't giving you the love that you deserve because we've also got you deserve love. So I feel like I'm, I'm feeling a lot of space around my heart. So there's a lot of stuff going on with my heart chakra. So I basically feel like there's somebody who's gonna be coming in who is gonna give you that love because you're gonna start feeling like, you no, know, I deserve to be, have someone in my life who is gonna really, really appreciate me. And if there's no one in your life and this basically doesn't appear like, if it doesn't resonate with you, if it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't really matter, just let it fly, as I always say, just let it fly. But if this does relate to you, then basically it means that you are being more self-reliant and you are looking into what you really want and basically giving yourself more to yourself. Also, this could also mean that somebody's gonna come in and basically you're gonna shoot Cupid's arrow towards you and it's gonna be an amazing experience. I feel like it could just be somebody who's really gonna focus on you and because you've got this gorgeous aura of basically saying, I deserve love, I'm, I feel like that I'm lovable, it means that someone is gonna come in for you who, you re who really suits you. So basically there is someone coming in if that's the sort of person that if you want somebody to come in, but we also have father healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. And 
connected to that we also have quiet time against you deserve love so basically you guys are really focusing on yourself and i think it's just taking the quiet time for yourself and really thinking what do i really want and it's also just allowing yourself to have that quiet time because i feel like you guys really really need that and it's also just making sure that you're giving yourself that time because it's like sometimes we can just get bogged down with having too much to do and we just kind of focus too much on the outer external world and the 3d and not actually what's kind of going on in here so it's also dealing with some father issues you could actually be going through some father issues and the wheel is now turning and basically it's now everything's turning in your favor i feel like there's kind of like a 50 50 here so i feel like half of you or maybe like a few of you are going through some intense emotional things at the moment and basically this is what's going to happen in may so this is going to be like a future prediction so i feel like a lot of you are going to be going through a really intense time to do with love and kind of letting go of old stuff and also the other the other lot of you are basically have gone through a lot of stuff you've gone through maybe personal issues with a father or a mother um a parent and basically you're letting go of all those issues and now because you've let go of issues and because you've given yourself quiet time is the wheel is turning in your favor and you're going to be going towards the ace of cups which is amazing so it's basically like two different scenarios going on so if you guys fit into each either or then just as I say, let, let, let it fly if it doesn't resonate, but just comment down below if this makes sense. So also, you guys have got the Flamingo Spirit embracing in between. So you guys are also definitely figuring out what you really, really want. Because with the in-between card, it's basically trying to figure out who you are and what the situation is that you're going through. Also, this card basically shows me that it's this gorgeous, like, I want to say like flamboyant kind of colorful personality and you're letting this come out and it's also because you're letting this come out and you're being more authentic there's there's a time now where you're in between because you're kind of like how much do i give of myself to people where it feels comfortable but also taking back my own power and being strong enough to let myself be vulnerable but also to keep myself to myself and to have that confidence does that does that make sense so kind of you're embracing that in between of moving forward in life as well but also, yeah, it's kind of, there's two different situations going on. It's also embracing who you are and being authentic and more authentic now than you've ever been. But it could also mean you're in between a phase where, where you, basically things are basically stuck and have stopped, which basically means you need to take quiet time for yourself. So essentially, overall, everything is looking really, really good. Everything is looking amazing because I feel like you guys, I feel like there's a stop and start. I'm seeing like a stop and then you're kind of, I can see you kind of like a bus and it's kind of moving up to a wall and you're stuck there and you're basically sitting on the bus waiting for this wall to kind of move down and kind of fall down so essentially a lot of you are kind of getting building up go 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 stop and you're suddenly stopping and you're kind of in this in between stage like okay I've worked myself where is all the good stuff but now it's going to start moving in May time. You just need to give yourself time. I know it's so boring because normally you think, I don't want to give myself time. I just want things to move on. But you guys need to give yourself that time because it is very, very important. And this is a very pivotal time in your life where you actually need to give yourself time. Because it's essentially going to help you move forward. But the fact that we've got the Ace of Cups just it gives me really good vibes. That you guys are really going to move forward to an emotional phase. It's just basically just relying on yourself and what feels good to you is um, I definitely keep getting this heart space. What feels good to you and also with the self-reliance card, it's like kind of holding, she's holding herself in, in her body. So it's basically just kind of what feels good to me and doing, do just basically doing things that really make you happy because I know at a time when you feel stuck, it's like, I really just want things to move. What the hell? This is annoying. But then it's like you have no choice basically but to really focus on yourself and also there's gonna be justice you're basically just gonna get justice for something so if you are waiting on somebody um somebody who's probably single then you're most likely gonna have communication from this person so i really hope this resonated with you guys and i hope this setup wasn't too confusing and i'm sorry if i keep looking at the viewfinder but i'm i just ah this is just a new situation for me so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you so much thank you so much for being here if you would like to please subscribe to my channel i don't always do this thing i normally just do like the cards not just my face but i want you guys to see my face more but i want to interact with you guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah i'm also doing private readings so all the information is down below i'm doing a sale until the end of april obviously if you're watching this in may then i will still be doing sales just 
hit me up on email or you can message me on Instagram and I will speak to you there and we can book private reading together. But if not, then I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Group number two. Okay, so thank you for clicking on this video guys and we're gonna see what you guys have for May time. So you guys got Be Here Now, Inner Child, Work on your partnership, give your relationship a chance, simplify your life, the world card, and king of pentacles. So I definitely feel like you guys are in an in-between stage right now because we've got simplify your life and be here now. So I definitely feel like you guys are going through like an intense change in May. This is going to be a time where you're reworking on yourself and you are embracing your inner child and kind of figuring out what really makes me happy. And I feel like this group is making me really tired. So I can really see like you trudging along in like mud sort of thing. Kind of just like, oh my God, this is so boring. I'm so bored of this. And just, I feel like there's so many stop and starts basically in May. But I think this is going to be a really important time because you're going to be really figuring out how to, they're telling me how to figure out situations, how to deal with relationships, how to deal with conversations with people. So we have the world card and the king of pentacles. So I don't feel like these two are actually related to each other. I feel like the world card is to do with your actual overall life and how things are going to start changing because I also feel like you guys want to start traveling or you're thinking about traveling in May. We've also got the king of pentacles. So I feel like the financial situation can be really good for you. I can also see a partner coming in um, in May to do with finances. So this could be somebody or this could be somebody who's just really good with finances. But the fact we've got give your relationship a chance work on your partnership i feel like you guys might have gone through a i'm seeing the word divorce in april and it's kind of moved through into may so this is not gonna relate to everybody but i can see some of you going through a divorce um in april and it kind of moves into may so that's obviously for some of you and i feel like this, this could be attaching to your inner child i feel like your inner child could be suffering a little bit but you're going to be working on that and basically I feel like this is quite a heavy reading because I feel like you guys are really digging into some really deep emotional shadow stuff stuff that you're not really aware of I feel like I need to pull another romance angel card so let's pull another one of these wedding <laughs> I literally said divorce so this is kind of like the complete opposite so obviously this could mean that you actually wanted a wedding you guys could wanting to get married with somebody or this could be you could actually be meeting somebody that you're going to get married to in the future which is actually insane um i want to get a clarification for this because i don't really know what this is so what is this wedding card please let me put this here so the lovers oh my god you guys got the lovers what the hell <laughs> oh my god okay so i can see some of you moving back with somebody um, also there's going to be somebody who's going to come back into your life I can see like an emotional person coming back into your life someone who has worked on themselves and I'm also seeing that they've worked on their inner child as well so this could be somebody that you're waiting on but this could also mean it's completely someone different so uh, there's so many different scenarios some people I feel like there's someone coming back and they want to initiate a stronger connection with you and something that's long lasting and also got the lovers so someone who's really focused on their emotions because we've also got to simplify your life and i feel like this is a lot to do with an emotional card we also have another section another version basically where someone i feel like an ex wants to get back with you or okay now any clarification what is this give your relationship a chance please I feel like some of you could have had an argument in April and basically you're getting back together again and you're kind of working it out in May. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So this means completion. What else? We've also got the King of Cups. So you guys are really working on your relationships. If you don't have anyone right now, this could be somebody coming in because you also have the Ten of Pentacles. As I said, this is definitely to do with money because we've got the King of Pentacles and we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is basically going to be someone who is working with you in money as well. So someone who's, I'm getting the words, not going to leave you alone in money. So someone who's probably going to support you as well. Support you in your job as well. I feel like a lot of you are starting a new job. Um, as someone who's going to be very, as someone's going to offer you stability and kindness as well, they're telling me. 
So we also got be here now. This is basically a time where you guys need to not focus on the future, which is quite ironic because it's a prediction for the future. But basically I feel like you guys need to focus on being here now in the moment. And you are collecting, I see you like creating a nest for yourself, like creating like a new nest. I feel like definitely a lot of you are going to get into a relationship in May because I can see you guys kind of cultivating something um, and creating something. Like I can see like cultivating like things coming together. So it's it's a time where you guys are really going to be, I'm feeling like creating a nest. I feel like some of you might be having a child in May as well. But I don't feel like this group, I feel like a lot of you from this group are actually in relationships, which is really strange because I don't normally get that. So I feel like some of you are in relationships. If you're not in a relationship, basically, they're basically telling me that you need to work on your inner child or do things that make you happy and to be here now in the moment because it's going to be really, really important for your mental health as well because it's important to draw back and think, okay, right, is this, is this issue really, really important? I'm getting like my throat chakra as well. So I feel like a lot of you are dealing with communication and communicating to somebody and being authentic and wanting to communicate something to somebody but I definitely feel like I can see this happening and a lot of you have worked with in a child and it's definitely to do with doing something that makes you really really happy in May because I feel like a lot of you have, have had quite a hard year I'm seeing definitely for this group but I definitely see someone coming in for emotional stability which is amazing and I see probably like a Pisces, um, Cancer or Scorpio I'm, doing, I'm seeing maybe an uh, earth sign as well to do with the king of pentacles. So let's get one more card. What's the overall energy for group number two, please? <coughs> oh, this is really heavy, this energy. It's making my lungs hurt. We also have Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that's amazing. Can we have one more card, please? We've got the Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands. So you guys are going to be moving through some heavy energy, but it's all going to work out really good. I can see like a massive shift. I can see like a 360. Um, so you know like a sand dial and you turn it upside down, the sand starts falling. I can see you guys doing like a whole different like 360 and kind of moving into a more emotional stable place. It's just kind of getting through this Swords energy because it's quite intense. But it's all going to work out for the best. You guys are, are going to do really, really well. And I can see you guys looking out to the future, to a whole new life. And it's just, I feel like it's going to be a start of something. I can hear someone um, going like that with a lawnmower, going vroom, vroom, vroom. Or like, like that with like a motorbike. So I can see someone starting up something. It's just kind of getting it started is what is kind of the issue here. But basically it's all going to move through because we've got the world and the Wheel of Fortune. So it's all just making sure that you're eliminating clutter from your life and having a work-life balance as well because that's going to be really really important so i feel like you guys are going to have a lot of work in may as well so that's really really good so i really hope this resonated with you guys this is a different setup for me so if messages were a bit confusing it's probably because i am just kind of focusing on filming and doing this at the same time but i really hope this resonated with you guys and if you would like to, please subscribe to my channel and also comment down below if it's resonated with you. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for a thousand subscribers. I love you guys so much. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, then you, all the links are down below. You can email me or you can message me on Instagram. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Hi, group number three. So let's get started with your reading. <coughs> I have a cough. <laughs> let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you guys have going on in May. Um, if this setup is a bit weird then it's just because I'm not used to it so <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this so let's see what you guys got in May so you guys got Snake Spirit I love that card this is like one of my favourite cards Snake Spirit new location gorgeous we also have the Eight of Wands Three of Pentacles Keep an Open Mind Getting to Know Each Other we also have Treasure Chest and time to move on guys you guys are moving you guys are moving 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 there is so much movement in this in this reading we've got the eight of eight of wands and we also got new location and time to heal so basically you guys are going for a really intense process you guys are moving on from old crap basically you guys are letting go you're shedding your skin you're moving on to a new location this new location could mean it could mean moving to a new house it could mean moving to into a new location as in like a new a whole new place it could mean like a new country this could mean a new relationship 
this could also mean I'm definitely getting a new relationship because you guys are shedding your old skin and this new person is going to be like damn this girl is so hot or this guy is so hot this person is just like so hot <laughs> and basically i'm getting numbers five five if this is your life path number or if this is a number you keep seeing over and over again this means that you are moving on and this is a time that you're really healing your wounds you're really healing and you're giving yourself self-love and you're going to start collaborating with some new people i feel like you guys are going to be meeting new friends you're going to be I feel like you guys are coming together with a new person as well. So if you're waiting for communication, there's definitely going to be communication. You're moving on. So it's basically saying it's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. And this is basically the snake spirit is shedding your old skin and just embracing who you are and your authenticity. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It's just gone a bit weird. The lighting is all natural and it's very changeable. So we also have treasure chest. And this is saying, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. You guys literally have the best group. I haven't done group number four yet, but this is like a really good group. So we also have keep an open mind and getting to know each other. So this is basically a time where you guys are going to get to know someone new. I definitely feel like this could be a reconciliation of some sort because we have keep an open mind. It's basically, I can see someone moving back towards you and kind of thinking, kind of thinking, I would never get with them. I would never ever get with them. But now I feel like, since this person is going to start coming in again, I feel like you're kind of like, mm, maybe I'll give them a try, keeping an open mind. Also, there could be somebody who you're not used to that comes in and you're like, oh, I'd never get with them, or maybe you're friends with them, and then you think, oh, I would never be in a relationship with them, but you're like, mm, maybe I could be in a relationship with them, because it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, and you're also going to get to know each other and basically your bond is going to deepen with this person as well so when you move to a new location you could meet someone who's really really amazing this is basically just like i'm seeing like such an open an open space i'm seeing like my whole heart is like boom it's like ah it's like wow so everything is just really opening up for you guys it just seems so amazing so i really want to pull another romance angel card can we get clarification on these two cards please so we've got flirt so there's definitely going to be someone new coming in as I say, this could be reconciliation. I'm definitely seeing that it's definitely going to be somebody who you're going to meet. I've seen maybe on a dating site as well or in like a, like a pub or some sort of setting where you're around other people. You could be like out with your girlfriends or out with your friends and you see this person and that's when you meet them. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, that's confusing. So actually, no, it's not. <laughs> I just literally just... The download just came through so basically there's somebody who you have been in separation for with for a while and it basically means you're going to start coming together and because there's separation i feel like there may be a bit of separation when you meet this person because you're kind of like i don't know if i want to get close to this person but then you're like slowly coming towards and coming together and you're basically going to be flirting to start off with because it's like i don't want to get too involved in this person just in case it's not the right person but because also this, if this is a reconciliation it means that basically because you've been separated for so long you're going to be a bit confused on how to communicate and how to go forward but it's all going to come through really really nicely and you're basically just gonna you're gonna reconcile and uh, and you're both going to get to know each other and basically i love the fact that it says on here getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so everything is just kind of come in really really nicely and I think it's raining. So if you can hear the rain, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so they wanted to take this card. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So that's cool. <laughs> so you guys basically got some really good cards for the romance. So in terms of money, you guys, I feel like, are coming into money. You guys could also be moving to a new job. With a treasure chest, I love this because this kind of shows to me it's going to be money coming in. I feel like it's going to be like a... I'm getting the word like saving bonds, savings, account. So maybe you guys could actually come into money. And um, there's money that's coming in. Also, the part that you could be going and um, be kind of advancing with. You're, if you're already with somebody or you're t stepping up into a new level of um, partnership, you guys could also be um, joining accounts as well. I'm seeing. I'm seeing this like joining together sort of thing. And also puzzle pieces coming together, which is really, really nice. I love that. So let's see what the three of pentacles is. I definitely feel like it could be a job offer as well for you guys. Okay, we have the Hanged Man. What else, please? We have the Seven of Wands. And we also have the Three of Swords. This this is quite an intense energy. 
I feel like maybe some of you guys could also, as I say, when I said about being blocked off and kind of like, I don't know if I want to be with this person, this is definitely the energy that I'm getting. It's kind of like, I've been hurt in the past. Is this really worth it? I really, I'm kind of getting this like really sad, like, oh my God, I really don't want to go through this again. I can see someone kind of like on their knees on the floor and they're kind of like crying and they're just like, I don't want to go through this again. I don't actually see this happening. But I can see this kind of going on in your mind. I can see the emotion attached to it. It's very sad and kind of, I don't want to get hurt again. I don't want to get hurt. Just don't look at me. But I feel like you guys could easily open yourselves up. If you feel like this person's really, really suited for you, then just go for it. Because, and also they're telling me to communicate how you feel. Tell them how you feel. Because otherwise you're just going to end up fighting people off and being like, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. And also, you guys could also just take take your time with this as well. There's no rush. Because basically, if you've been in separation with somebody or you've met someone new and you think, I don't know if I want to go through with this, just take time. Because basically, I feel like this person could open you up to a new perspective. I'm seeing somebody um, holding hands with somebody else. I'm seeing like, seeing like you are like this and you have your hands like this kind of closed off. And then I can see the person just wrapping their hands around your hands being like, it's okay. Um, I'm here for you. I'm going to support you. So that's kind of what the energy is. It's really nice. It's like a really nice hug. I'm feeling like it's just... Oh, it just feels really good. So you guys are just going to come into a really nice energy. Just take your time, guys, because this is a really intense time. Basically, you're moving on from a lot of old shit. And excuse my swearing, but I like to swear. <laughs> Helps me express myself. Um, so yeah, you guys are going to come into some really nice times. And it's just breathing through it. Because I feel absolutely knackered after doing this group. But it's also like... I felt more knackered after doing group two, but now group three, I feel like more, less knackered and more open hearted. So I feel like it's kind of like, you're moving from this old, slow, sludgy energy into this gorgeous like, ah, energy. So <laughs> it's all good, it's all good guys. So I really hope that this resonated with you. If this did resonate, then comment down below. I really just hope that this will help you through May. And also, if you'd like to, please subscribe to my channel. My name is The Crystal Girl. And also, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, all the information is down below. You can contact me through my email or Instagram. And I will see you all very soon. Bye, guys. Group number four. How you guys doing? So let's see what you guys got for May. Just organise my crystals. <laughs> So you guys got time, take time out to the brown bear spirit. Take time out. Sorry, I'm just seeing if you guys can see that. Uh, take time out. Beauty. He's got up here the star, the six of wands, and temperance. You also have engagement, healing family issues, and blessed change. Wow, <laughs> there's so much like confusing energy. We've got like some really gorgeous energy of like opening up and moving forward and balance but we also have healing family issues so i feel like some of you i feel like this isn't going to resonate with all of you but i feel like some of you are going to be through may still healing some family issues and healing any sort of issues you have with family anything that's subconscious and also this could be to do with emotional change as well so this could be healing mental health issues as well and kind of going through that I feel like you guys are going to be coming into a new relationship as well because you've also got blessed change and also engagement. So it's also engaging in your emotional stability as well and kind of engaging in the sort of thing that you want to do. So it's like deciding on your own path instead of what other people have told you to do. So we basically also have take time out and beauty. So it's basically making sure that you are balancing out your own, your own energies making sure you're not investing too much time into relationships or external things and just bringing it back to yourself and also just taking time on yourself maybe like putting on some makeup maybe straightening your hair or i don't know <laughs> just kind of doing anything that's to do with beauty and enhancing your external but i feel like this beauty is also enhancing this heart area and this self-confidence i feel like this beauty and this self-confidence is really just going to come up i feel like coming up and coming out so there's, I feel like some of you are like getting your wings. So what does that mean? You guys are really letting the world see you now, which is quite an interesting thing. Okay, thank you for that. So we have the star, the six of wands and temperance. So basically this means that you guys are moving through an intense time of spiritual awakening. And also they're moving into balance. So it's also making sure that you're balancing out your time to make sure there's enough time for yourself but also ascending so it's like 
I feel like you guys are going to have quite a lot of alone time in May um, figuring out how to balance um, life because I feel like there's a lot of changes. I'm seeing a lot of this coming through. There's a lot of clicking, clicking in, kind of um, engaging in new situations, but also making sure that you're kind of like, okay, I need to balance myself because I'm going through a really intense change, but it's like, okay, we're moving forward. Let's go, go, go. But it's also just kind of like, it's going to be okay. But then moving forward and then coming back and then moving forward and coming back. So just keep coming back to yourself, but also moving forward. So you guys have got a really nice flow. And the temperance is basically that energy. It's just about balance, about coming, like kind of doing this with the two cups. So it's like engaging my emotions, engaging my energy, but also giving myself some time to embrace these changes. So in terms of money, I don't really see a lot of money going on here. So let's see what you guys have in money. What has group four got going on in money, please? Okay, so we've got the Queen of Cups. We have the Tower. <laughs> and then we have the Empress. Okay, so can we have one more card, please? What's the overall energy for money? Thank you. Right, I see you guys moving into a new job that's going to be more emotionally satisfying for you. This could also mean just a change in work, that a position that suits you a bit better. Um, because we have, first of all, we have the Queen of Cups. So I feel like this is you kind of deciding, I really want to do something. I really enjoy now. Why the hell am I still here? And then the Tower comes in and you basically break away from your old job, old patterns, your healing, family issues. You're like, we need to step up now. Let's get this, let's get this ball rolling. Let's start doing living life for myself. And then you have the Empress where you're engaging in a more stable feminine place and you're also giving birth to a new opportunity for yourself and basically a new life and then we have the three of pentacles so you're going to be engaging with new people you're going to have new insights you're having new wisdom and this is basically meaning that it's just like all happening in may so this is this is like really intense so this is wow this is crazy but i really like this this feels really really nice it's like it's like should they just tell me take Take one step at a time, because I'm, I'm feeling quite rushed. I'm feeling quite agitated. I'm literally like sitting on the edge of my seat right now. So it's making sure that you're not rushing too much because I'm seeing like one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time, because you're gonna have a lot of change coming through. So, and we also are moving forward, as I say, into a more balanced life. So you're balancing out your time and let's see what else we have. So I see, I'm seeing love here. So I'm just gonna see what you have in love as well. Anything else group four needs tonight, please? We have act as if of the chameleon spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Turn knowledge into wisdom. As I say, you're, you guys are getting new wisdom as well. I feel like you guys are turning more towards spirit now. Because a lot of you, I feel like, are going through a very t intense spiritual ch journey journey and change and you need to keep making sure that you're acting authentically and they're basically telling me to manifest as well you're, um you are act as if um what you have is already here like manifesting as well and we have the let spirit be your guide right in the middle so this is basically saying that you guys are just basically giving yourself to spirit because this is going to be a really important time also apologies if you can't see all the cards this is a new setup for me so i'm just kind of seeing how this all pans out but it's all looking really really good for you guys i just kind of want to see what's happening in love for you guys because i'm seeing i'm seeing something happening because we have engagement what's the engagement card here what does this mean we have the world card which is really nice basically 360 going into a new change a new life they're telling me a whole new world a whole new world <laughs> Aladdin's coming in there. Yeah, I'm seeing like the Aladdin scene now where he's on the carpet and he's like, Do you trust me? And then they hold hands and they go up on the carpet. So <laughs> that's kind of what's going to happen to you, which is really nice. Plus, Aladdin's really attractive. <laughs> and we literally have the full cards. So this is literally you guys going off onto a new journey, which is crazy. I love that. That's really nice. So I can see something new. I can see open. They're telling me the word opening continuous can 
does this mean? Continuous. A change that's going to continue on and it's going to be long lasting. Commitment and it's telling me self reliance. So it's also once you become self reliant in yourself and become whole within yourself, this person's going to come in really, really nicely. And the fact that you've got the star basically shows me that you guys are really working on your emotional and spiritual journey, which is really, really nice. So I can never see someone coming in for you guys, but I'm seeing May as a very, I'm seeing transition. But I'm also seeing new things coming in. So I can see new things coming in while you're transitioning, which is really, really nice. So I really hope this resonated with you. And please come back to this in May. Just to see if this does resonate with you. That would be great. Um, if this doesn't resonate with you, as I always say, just let it fly. This doesn't always resonate with everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this new setup. This is new for me, so apologies. Everything isn't really like set up very well. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to, please subscribe to my channel. My name is The Crystal Girl. And also comment down below if this resonated with you. I also do private readings. So if you guys would like a reading with myself, then please email me or you can message me on Instagram. I'm always doing sales, so just I will let you guys know. And always look in the description box because I'll always let you know if I'm doing a sale. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and for being here. And I will see you all very, very soon. Also, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. You guys are the best. <laughs> thank you guys and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.